Good afternoon, everyone, from the bunker here in Dartmouth. It's a typical winter's day outside. We have snow, which shortly will be ice pellets, which will then transition into freezing rain, followed by rain. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit of my model railway, which is an interesting one, because it includes a standard gauge railway and a narrow gauge, and the narrow gauge railway is the Clocker Valley Railway. The Clocker Valley Railway was a narrow gauge railway that was built in 1887 and lasted until 1941. It was in County Tyrone, in what is now Northern Ireland. It was intended to uh, bring uh, prosperity to that part of the world, but rarely turned a profit in all its years of operation during which it used both steam locomotives, as you see here, and also towards the end, diesel rail buses. The narrow gauge railway joined the main line at two locations in the east. It joined it at Tynan. It continued up the valley of the river Blackwater through a series of small towns, including Ocker, Ocker and Five Mile Town, and reached the main line in the west at a place called McGuire's Bridge. This was quite a prosperous rural environment, but uh, as I said, the railway never really increased the prosperity. The steam locomotives were built in, in England and given quite pretty local names. This one was called the Blackwater, named after the river. The railway ran through uh, rural environment, sometimes beside the main road, sometimes through uh, open fields. And when it reached the little town of Five Mile Town, it ran up the main street. This is a very nice painting showing a busy main street in the maybe the 1920s with the railway coming coming along. The other view here is also of the main street at a later date in which we see the real bus coming. In the right hand side is a chestnut tree and to the left is the chestnut bar in which apparently my wife's sister was born. This is a nice view of the station at Five Mile Town. The station building is over at the right and the good shed is at the left with the obviously with the train both passenger and freight uh, in the middle of the view. This is Tynan, I think in 1911. So this is where the narrow gauge met the main line. The main line is on the right, the narrow gauge is on the left, and the station building at Tynan is in the distance with the uh, station box uh, a little bit closer. The station building, as you see, is a very nice stone building built in the Gothic style to fit in with the, with the local Tynan Abbey. However, it's in a very bad state today. Uh, this is a photo taken perhaps 10 or 15 years ago showing the, the station building at Tynan in a state of uh, disrepair. Glass has fallen in, the building is boarded up. It's owned by a local farmer who is letting it, I guess, gently fall into pieces. Because when we visited two years ago, uh, 2018, this is what it looked like. And you can see there's now a tree growing up through part of the building. It's very, very sad to watch that. The farmer's a nice person, but it doesn't care. And other parts of the world, this building would be uh, highly valued, might be preserved. This is another view of the front. This is the former platform of the main line, showing the state of deterioration. Very, very sad. It could be re rescued, I suppose. This is a view of the station in 1942, showing the main line, two tracks with the siding in the distance, and notice that there was a platform on the other side. Signal box. This was taken, I guess, 15 to 20 years ago, and already it was in a very sad state of disrepair, 
but as you can see, it was a very pretty looking structure, very sad. We tried to have a look at this in 2018, but unfortunately, it was like this, covered in vegetation. We did struggle through the brambles, go around the back and try and get closer, but this was as close as we could get to the signal box. One of the largest buildings at the site was the transshipment shed. This was a building used to exchange goods between the standard and the main gauge. And it is now used by the farmer, store silage. As you see, it also was built in the Gothic style and it remains quite structurally sound as far as I can see. This is a view of the rear. In the distance you see the, uh, the opening for the narrow gauge wagons to come through and closer to your view is the, the entrance for the standard gauge wagons. As I said, the brickwork is still pretty good. One or two places it's not quite so good. But I think it's uh, this building has really survived the years pretty well. So this is the uh, this is the railway as it exists today. In the distance is the uh, station at Tynan with the signal box with no vegetation. In the foreground are the workers' cottages. There's a water tank. And this is the view of the transshipment shed with uh, wagons being pushed in from the standard gauge line. There goes the standard gauge locomotive towing a couple of wagons going past the station. The standard gauge on my layout it runs all the way over to five mile time, where of course it never existed. But I had to make a, a loop for complete running. So, as usual, uh, reality was suspended. This is the uh, station at Five Mile Town with the good shed in foreground. And here you can see the line running up the main street. Most of these buildings have obviously been recycled from previous layout, but there's a nice little farm that I, I scratch built, a typical Ulster farm as we would call it. And uh, a view towards the distance with a Corvette, strangely enough, <laughs> in centre position. When the railway was running, the standard gauge locals were 440s like this, painted uh, a lovely color of blue. And this particular one is no longer available, so I had to make do with this. It's an LMS locomotive. I did intend to paint it the nice blue color, but really I didn't have the heart to spoil the excellent finish on this little loco. Had I done so, it would have looked this color. Very pretty, I believe. <laughs>